In this video, we will be looking at triangles and lines, and more importantly, we will be looking at the angles that make them up, as well as how to find missing angles and find missing measurements. If you add up all three angles which make up a triangle, they will always equal 180 degrees. For the triangle shown on the board, all three sides measure 60 degrees. So if you add up 60 plus 60 plus 60, you will get that total of 180 degrees. Every triangle has to equal up to 180 degrees when many times you will be asked to find a missing measurement when looking at triangles. Here they've labeled for us two of the three corners are worth 30 degrees, and, they've labeled, and they have labeled the top corner as x, so they want us to find the value of x. In order to do that, all we will have to do is add together the amounts that they have told us. The bottom left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner are both worth 30 degrees. So when we add those together, that's worth 60 degrees total. But to find the missing measurement, all we have to do is take this combined total of 60 degrees and subtract it from the total that every triangle is worth, 180. So that once we subtract, whatever is left over has to be what fills in that missing measurement. So in this question, x is going to be worth 120 degrees. Sometimes you may not even be given any numbers though. Here we have a different triangle where again they want us to find how much x is worth. But here, like I said, there are no numbers actually given in the diagram. But you are expected to know that right angles are always worth 90 degrees. And right angles are usually designated by a little square in the corner. They always form perfect L's. So if this corner is worth 90 degrees, how much is left for this corner and this corner? Well, to find that, we have to take that total of 180 degrees, subtract the amount that we already know, 90, and that leaves us with 90. But that 90 degrees has to cover both of the other two corners. So to make it count for both of them, we have to take 90 and divide it by 2, and we get 45. So that this corner is worth 45 degrees, and this corner is also worth 45 degrees. So here you're actually being tested on how much is a right angle worth, and then being able to use that information, figure out the amounts of the missing angles. Here is a practice problem for you to work out on your own. Try to figure out how much the value of y is going to be in this problem, if the other two angles are worth 42 degrees and 13 degrees respectively. Please feel free to pause the video and work the problem out before you continue playing. The first step in solving this problem is seeing how many degrees are taken up by the two angles that we already know. The bottom left is worth 42 degrees, and the bottom right is worth 13 degrees, so that together they are worth 55 degrees. So we have to take 55 degrees away from the total of every triangle, 180, to see how much is left for the missing corner. Here, I do a little borrowing and subtract, and I come up with y being worth 125 degrees. You can always double check yourself. Take all three angles, in this one, 125, 42, and 13, and add them all together and it should get you back to that total of 180 degrees. Straight lines are also worth 180 degrees. So if you have a straight line, and another line that crosses it, or intersects, and they tell you that one side of this line is worth 40 degrees. So they're saying that just this section right here is worth 40 degrees. And they may ask you, how much then is x? If the entire straight line is worth 180 degrees, and this section is already taken up by 40 degrees, how much would be left for x? Solve these just like you would the triangle questions. Take your total of 180 and subtract the amount that's being taken up. In this question, it's 40. So you subtract and that leaves you with 140 degrees. So in this question, x is equal to 140 degrees. So now that we have figured out x is equal to 140 degrees, let's figure out how much y is worth. Well, we'll do this just the same way we did the first time. If they're saying that just this amount is 140 degrees, and this entire straight line is 180 degrees, we'll solve it just like before. 180 minus the 140 that's already being taken up leaves only 40 degrees for the other section. So that means this other side right here has to be 140 degrees. So that here we have 180, here we have 180, every way we look at it we have 180 degrees wherever there is a straight line. This leads us to an interesting fact. Opposite angles that are across from each other are congruent. 
that means they're worth the same amount. So 1 and 1 are both worth the same amount, and 2 and 2 are worth the same amount. And 1 and 2 will always equal up to be 180 degrees. Even if I take this one line, draw it a little bit further, and have it being crossed by another line, as long as these two lines here are parallel, meaning they run forever in either direction and never touch each other, as long as they're parallel, then the same angles will be true of the bottom intersection. Ones will still be ones and twos will still be twos. So that the top right is it worth the same amount as the top right. The top left is worth the same amount as the top left, no matter where we're looking at it on the intersection. So don't be thrown when you're given a question that looks like this. They tell you that the top right up here is worth 120 degrees, but they want to know how much is A worth. Well, we could figure this out a couple of different ways. If this top right is worth 120, then this top right is also worth 120, so you could write that down. But we also know that two sections of an intersecting line have to equal up to 180 degrees across the straight line. So if this is 120 degrees, how much has to go right here to give us a total of 180 degrees? Well, of course, it's going to be 60. So then we could follow that angle is going to be the same as it would be down here, so that A is also worth 60 degrees. And if you had simply moved the 120 to right here and done the same thing, A is still going to come out to be 60 degrees. So we could actually fill this out all the way around. The opposite angles are going to be 120 here and 120 here, and the other opposite angles are going to be 60 and 60 at the top and 60 and 60 at the bottom. So as long as they tell us one of those angle amounts, we can figure out the rest of them no matter where they're at on the intersection. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching!